what's up guys good day good day good day it is a sad day today i think in soweto and Gauteng, guys two kids were killed guys brutally killed um during load shedding so guys i think we should sign a petition or something we should blame um the government for these killings or esco so guys um two kids were killed in jawavu white seat immediately when the lights went off immediately when the lights went off I think it's yesterday or the day before 8 p.m. So I think it's yes day before yesterday 8 p.m. The lights went off These kids were playing were still playing A white van pulled up. There were three kids actually the third one managed to escape. They called the kids to the van and Their bodies were cut throat slit. It's like guys guys I think one resident described it as opening an avocado and taking out um that seed and looking at that's how the bodies were brutally 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 um stabbed and guys so guys this th th this is bad so so immediately when the lights went off these kids were caught killed when the lights came back on that's when they were found it only took them two hours two hours to brutally kill these kids and it is not the first time guys even on the first of january kids were found floating in um morocco morocco dam central um rockville so guys a dark cloud is hanging over africa a dark cloud is hanging over soweto a dark heavy the heaviest cloud ever is hanging over south africa guys south africa is at its worst people are behaving in uh, i don't know what manners people are getting killed everywhere left and left right and center so guys if a serial killer is roaming the streets of soweto the serial killer is being um he's active or she is active or they are active during load shedding we know that crime is um on the rise during load shedding people are getting killed people are getting marked every day guys every day of the day people are getting killed on the streets of soweto it's very bad in soweto guys so i don't know we should sign a petition um the patrollers and the community should sign petition that we should take the government to court for everything that's happening because it's happening during load shedding so if they fix that um load shedding situation crime will go down we won't say we can um eradicate all the crime but now even easier crimes are being committed when the lights are off so guys this is a very very touching story it didn't need me to prepare for anything or write or because it affects me guys it affects me we also have kids i have two kids so and they play on the streets mm. so what do you guys think wherever you are around the world globally please hit me in the comments what do you think when kids are being killed body body parts are being taken out guys forehead cut out the head the neck imagine you as a parent seeing that private parts out guys mm. it is not the first time now we are seeing it because it's two young kids first of january if if you check on your socials kids a little girl's body was found floating just right where they found um the second child just right there they found him there, were, there was a So guys, I don't know. I don't know. You are in trouble if you are living in Gauteng and especially the townships. You are in trouble. You are at risk of everything. Your time is now. You might die anytime. That's what I'm telling you. Not from natural causes or what. From thugs. We have thugs, guys. Thugs roaming around the streets of Soweto every single, single day. 8 o'clock you have to, it's basically locked down in Soweto. Whenever the lights, I mean 8 p.m. guys, come on. Come on. The parent just lost one minute sight of them. Maybe the kid is by the gate. They call him, oh, here's a suite. The kid is lost, gone. Are you saying we should keep lashes or leashes on our kids or tie them up with chains? So kids shouldn't play? Peggy Tele, Minister of um, and the Minister of Electricity, and to you, Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa, what do you think? Are you happy now that this load shedding that you guys can't fix, we know we're going to face till we die?
thanks i blame this on all of them guys i blame this on all of them it's simple if you say it's not low shading it's the parents negligence don't even come to the comment section i won't respond i won't respond and if you come in here you're saying it's, it's because of rituals or, or foreigners or what what do you know it could be someone who is within the community who is with who is a south african or still it could be someone there um who comes from we do not know but that's not the problem the problem now is load shedding and all of this this video needed no prep it didn't need no preparations or makeup it just needed to be said guys we should blame them we should blame them you top officials you anc you minister of energy you um piggy trailer you come help um not even come help so it help the whole country it's not happening in so it's it's happening here because <sighs> i'm out of words guys what do you think of this load shedding I can't even hold the camera right or set up the camera or anything. That, that, that thing doesn't matter. It does not matter. It does not matter, man. The problem is you guys. You guys in power. You, your kids won't be um, killed this way. Your kids' survival chances are more than 80%. Surviving in Soweto is like 50%. You get, get out here, 6 o'clock, lights out. It's already dark. You go by bread, you're dead. Hit me up, wherever you are. This is Mtrendo Wekasine Kasi. This is not a normal video. When you see my face, it is not a normal day. Please, subscribe to the channel. Comment. This one, I need your comments, guys. From wherever you are. New York, LA, Cairo, Cape, Kenya, Abu Dhabi, wherever you are. A dark cloud is hanging over South Africa. A dark cloud is hanging over Africa. That cloud is hanging over the black child. That cloud is hanging over Soweto. Let it rain, guys. Bula.